Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to evaluate sine, cosine, and tangent when you are working in degrees, minutes, and seconds. So it's pretty easy. Um, I will be using the TI-84 graphing calculator for this one, and I am going to approximate them and round to four decimal places. I will show you also how to do this in the TI Inspire graphing calculator, but really you, this can be done in any scientific calculator. All right, so let's get started. So the first one that we're going to find is sine 36 degrees, five minutes and 20 seconds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our calculator. So go ahead and grab your calculator. And we want to check our mode. No matter which calculator you're working with, you always want to check your mode to make sure that you are in degrees. So right now I'm in radians, so I'm going to change that to degrees. Once you change it, until you either clear your calculator or you manually change it, it will be in degree mode. So I only have to do this once. So now I'm going to hit second and quit to get out of here. So above mode it says quit. Okay, and then you just find a sign and we just start entering our numbers in. So our first one would be 36, and it hit an extra one. So 36, to get the degrees, you're gonna hit the second button, and apps, above it, it says angle. So I'm gonna just choose option one. So I would have sine 36, five minutes was our next one, so we would do second, apps again, and this time I'm gonna choose two, and then for the last one where it was 20 seconds, we would just do 20. Um, the, the seconds is not in the same place. You actually have to hit alpha and plus to get the second. So alpha and plus will get the seconds. And I'm just going to go ahead and close the parenthesis. You really don't have to at this point because it's the end of the expression, but just to um, make it more accurate or in case you had other things after that, you always want to make sure that you close the parenthesis when you're finished with a certain expression. So if you hit enter, if we round to four decimal places, it would be 0 0.5890. So let me go ahead and write that down. And that's it, you're finished. So we're gonna move to the next one. The next one asks for cosine 135 degrees, 15 minutes and five seconds. So again, we're already in degree mode because I already changed it to degree mode. So since we're in degree mode, all I have to do is hit cosine and then plug in our values. So our first one would be 135, and we would just do second angle, option one. And our next one was 15 minutes, so I would do 15 second apps, option two. And then our last one was five seconds, so I would do five and alpha plus. So now I have that entered in and just hit enter and it gives us negative 0.7102. So notice on this one that it is negative. And the reason that this one is negative is if you remember from drawing out your sine cosine tangent, when you're dealing with your coordinate plane, remember that we start with zero degrees and then 90 degrees 180 degrees and then 270 degrees. So our first one, the 36 degrees, fell in quadrant one. So our first one fell in quadrant one because it was the 36 degrees, five minutes, 20 seconds. So that's why we had a positive answer. Um, remember that it's always cosine comma sine. So cosine and sine are both positive in this quadrant. Well, the 135 degrees, our second one, cosine, 135 is going to put us over here because 135 degrees is between 90 and 180. So if you think about it, our cosine, which is our x, is negative over here. So I have a negative x and a positive y, so that's why we ended up with a negative sign there in case you were wondering. All right, and then our last one that we want to find is tangent. It's going to be positive because, again, the 49 degrees is going to be in our first quadrant here somewhere. And so we're gonna have a positive divided by a positive. So in case you're wondering if you should have positive or negative, that's something you can look for. Okay, so for tangent, we have 49 degrees. So I would just do second and apps, option one. And then I would do five minutes. So I would do my five second apps, option two. And then I would just hit enter and 1.1538 is what I would round to approximately. And 
that's it. So you can just plug it directly into your calculator and it's very easy to get the answer. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.